We're in the Deco garage, getting ready to install a timing belt kit on a Honda V6 3.5 liter engine. This is by far our most requested kit, so we want to provide a quick tutorial on installation. Be sure you have all the necessary tools, including a crankshaft pulley holder and a crankshaft pulley bolt sprocket, as well as Deco part number WP329K2A. This complete kit includes the water pump and gasket. We'll get started by removing the crankshaft pulley. Hold the pulley with the holder handle and the pulley holder. Remove the bolt, then pull off the crankshaft pulley. Take off both the front and rear upper covers. Then remove the lower cover, followed by the engine mount. For this next step, you'll need a 6mm by 100mm bolt. Thread the bolt in to hold the timing belt adjuster in its current position and hand tighten only. Do not use a wrench. Reinstall the crank bolt and align the timing marks. The timing belt drive pulley should be set to top dead center with the mark on the timing belt drive pulley tooth with the pointer on the oil pump. This will align the camshafts in the correct position as well. Now take off the timing belt guide plate. Remove the idler pulley bolt and pulley. We recommend recycling any old bolts and starting with a fresh set during installation. Pull the timing belt off. This one definitely needed to be replaced. Remove the tensioner push bolt installed earlier and unbolt the tensioner and actuator. With all the main components out, closely inspect the engine. It is important to note that there are a few Honda and Acura engines with a noise-related technical service bulletin. In those situations, you'd hear a chirp coming from the lower timing belt area. The noise is most prominent at idle, usually after the engine has warmed up. This happens because the idler pulley mounting service is tilted, causing the edge of the timing belt to rub against one side of the drive pulley. To check, the engine mount needs to be in place and the new idler pulley with the old bolt installed so you can measure the clearance between the two. If there's adequate clearance, you can move forward. If not, grind the engine mount according to the instructions in the service bulletin and be sure to use the shim kit included with the Deco timing belt kit. Now back to the job. Clean the timing belt guide plate and the upper and lower covers. To be safe, confirm alignment again, ensuring the number one piston is set at top dead center on the crankshaft. Then check that camshaft alignment is still correct by confirming the marks on the pulleys aligned with the casting lines in the head. Remove the old water pump and install the new one with the gasket from the kit torquing the bolts to 9 foot-pounds. Loosely place the idler pulley and shim with a new idler pulley bolt. It should be able to move slightly but not come off. Next, install the new actuator and tighten it to 9 foot-pounds. Then, install the new tensioner with the original bushing and tighten it to 33 foot-pounds. With all necessary components in place, you can now install the timing belt, working in a counterclockwise sequence, starting with the drive pulley. Take care not to damage the timing belt during installation. It should be routed around six pulleys in a specific order. Drive pulley, idler pulley, front camshaft pulley, water pump pulley, rear camshaft pulley, and finally, the tensioner pulley. After the belt is in place, you can torque the idler pulley bolt to 33 foot-pounds. When tightening, you'll need to install a quarter-inch drive ratchet extension to keep the shim's tab in the correct position. Install the timing belt guide plate. Pull the pin from the new tensioner and install the upper engine mount.
Put the lower cover back on and tighten its bolts to 9 foot-pounds. Move on to the front and rear upper covers, putting those both back on and tightening all bolts to 9 foot-pounds. Time to shift over to the workbench and clean the crankshaft pulley. Remove any visible oil and clean the pulley, crankshaft, bolt and washer thoroughly. Then lubricate with engine oil. Now it's time to get your tools and install the crankshaft pulley. Hold the pulley with the pulley holder and tighten the crankshaft bolt to 48 foot-pounds with a torque wrench and a heavy-duty 19 millimeter socket. Do not use an impact wrench for this. You're not quite done. The bolt on the pulley needs to be turned an additional 60 degrees, then it's all set. Our tech is going to check the timing now by rotating the crankshaft pulley about six turns clockwise, so the timing belt positions itself on the pulleys. The crankshaft pulley should be turned so its yellow mark lines up with the pointer. Now, check the crankshaft pulley marks. If they aren't aligned, just rotate the crankshaft 360 degrees and recheck. If they're not at top dead center, you'll have to remove and reinstall the belt. And that's a wrap. Great job.